didn't even know what a volleyball was <laughs> until like fifth grade, obviously. But um, I love basketball. I thought basketball was what I wanted to do since I was little. So my parents were my coaches. My brother and I would play it in the front yard all the time. And um, it just became a thing where I wanted to try volleyball out. And I was like, oh, like this could be fun. So um, when I moved here to Lafayette, I was horrible, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I was bad. And um, I had a couple of family friends tell me to try out for this volleyball team, travel team. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll try it out. And ended up loving it. Got a lot better, <laughs> apparently, because here I am. And um, no, but uh, the coaches that I've had on along the way, I have some local coaches from Purdue, um, Travis Fuller, Ryan Freeberg, Kyle Shondell. Um, those great coaches and some teammates. You know, Katie Griffin coached me when I was in high school. Carly Kramer coached me when I was in high school. It's crazy to think about that. And then we became teammates. But um, I loved every minute of it. I learned a lot. And I'm very grateful for the transition that I've made. Ever since I was little, my brother and I had had a bond when it came to sports. Like, that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to be outside playing football. I would play football with them. I actually have some embarrassing pictures of myself in the backyard with a helmet. Yeah, we were funny. We always wanted to be outside, whether we were playing baseball, um, volleyball. I mean, we tried playing volleyball. Mark wasn't that great, but, um, and I mean, I think that's what made us so close together from the beginning is that we've had that connection. And like my parents, you know, they were Mark and I's coaches since we were little. Like they coached us in softball and basketball. And um, I have to say that like, that's also something that was so fun to experience. Not everybody can say that they got coached by their parents when they were younger. And I'm thankful I did too, because I learned a lot from them. Lafayette area volleyball hasn't, it's been getting progressing, you know. Um, it was never like a big thing, oh, someone from Lafayette, Indiana is being recruited. Like, you know, when you think of certain cities and towns and like sports performance teams, like the club I was at was not known for being recruited so heavily for, but that's because it was brand new. And I think that, you know, there was an opportunity for me to go to Indy and play and play on those teams up there. And then I decided that, you know, like we should bring it home, you know, like Lafayette is home and I should support what I have there. When I was a hitter, you're right, you said un un like unsung heroes. It's kind of like when you're a hitter, you celebrate that last point that you just made, and so you get all the credit when you're the hitter, but then you realize what it's like to be on the other side, and you make the first play, and it's not like you don't get credit for the dig, you know, because everyone on the team is saying, hey, great dig, you're the reason, you know, why we got that kill, but, you know, the crowd might not always know that that's the real reason, or that's one of the first beginning steps. So I think that that's something that, not everybody can say that they've seen both sides, and I appreciate both sides of it. When I went and tried out for that A2 program, it just made it that much more intense. You know, like, everybody wanted your spot, and so you were fighting for what you wanted. And I looked at it as a great opportunity. I was so, th like, grateful to be asked to go and try it out, and it does not disappoint me one bit because, I mean, I'm just going to play even harder this like, you know, coming fall and spring, and I want to make that team next year, and that's my goal. And, you know, it means anything, like, everything in the world to some people, but it's just really something that can make me a lot better.